All right, this is the last video for section 5.3, and in it we're going to talk about the P-series, which is a specific type of series that we see quite often. Um, notice I made a note here about this being memorized. Um, same thing goes for the geometric series. Um, you should be able to have memorized when the geometric series converges or diverges based on the value of R, the common ratio. And the same thing should be true about the harmonic series. Remember, the harmonic series always diverges. So you need to have those kind of committed to memory. Um, for this particular one, the P-series has a specific form, and we looked at something similar to this when we talked about improper integrals in section 3.7. The P-series always has the form 1 over n to the P, where P is some power. And whether or not it converges or diverges depends on the value of P. It converges... Right? It converges if P is greater than 1, and it diverges if P is less than or equal to 1. That's our P series. And so these are simple examples. Let's look at an example. Example 3, testing for convergence of a P series. Determine if the following series are convergent or divergent. Notice that the example A has the form that we see up here in the theorem, right? This is the same form. And so... For this particular problem, what's our value of P? What is P equal to? Yeah, P equals 7. And that falls in the category of being greater than 1. If it's greater than 1, then it converges, right? So we need to make a statement, just like all the other problems. We can say our series, 1 over n to the 7th, converges, or why don't we actually, in our statement, say what type of series it is? Why don't we say, we can just say, is a convergent P-series. And it's as simple as that. All right? So what do you think about B, the next example? Well, is it even a P-series? And hopefully you can recognize that it is because it can be rewritten, right? This could be 1 over n to what power? Well, it's the 1 half power. So that means p is equal to what? Well, p is equal to 1 half, which in this case is less than 1. And remember, if it's less than 1, then that means the p-series diverges. So again, let's make our statement. Our series in this case is a divergent P-series. And that's all there is to P-series. Um, you should get used to doing problems like this. You'll see some on the homework and on the lab assignments. So that's going to do it for Section 5.3. Thank you for your time.